Okay, we cleaned the hub in preparation to put the rotor on. We're gonna check the rotor run out, but here's a little tip. When we put this rotor back on, don't forget it's got that Drummond hat that we talked about. And this Drummond hat here, actually this is your parking brake assembly and it's brake shoes as you can see. So there's a built-in drum in this, in this rotor right here. Now if I just slide this on, uh, it might be a tight fit, it might be a loose fit, I'm not sure, but these shoes have to be adjusted properly to be up against this drum, just barely touching the drum so that when we apply the parking brake, it'll hold. If it's too far away, the pedal will go down way too far before it engages the drum assembly, so we have to adjust this properly. Now, you can guess at it by just putting, putting this rotor on and then going from the back side here, there's a little adjustment and, and, and adjusting it and turning it and adjusting it and turning it, and you can play with that for a while, or you can use a tool like this, which is what we actually use for our drum brakes anyways, and what this tool does, here, I, I adjust it, I'll measure the diameter of the drum here with it, and once I get that, that, that measurement, I'll lock it in place. Well, that measurement here is identical to this measurement here. So then all I have to do is slide this on and see, oh, I got a little bit of play in there, so I'll back this off to get just the right amount of play, and it'll be a one-time thing. I'll put that rotor on, and I'll be done. We still have to install all the lug nuts. Then we're gonna put the dial indicator on here and check this rotor run out. The spec for this particular truck is two thousands in the back. So we'll check the run out to be two thousands and, and then we're done.